Hey everyone, this is Darkseid. In this episode, I'm going to show you a fast area and method for farming large titanite shards, green titanite shards, and pillform humanity. The pillform humanity is the humanity items that you occasionally find while killing rats in the game. First, we need to know a little bit about how holding humanity, that is a humanity counter in the top left of the screen, affects your item discovery rate. The item discovery at zero holding humanity is 100. And for every one point of holding humanity, this rate increases by between 6 and 8, except for the first one, which actually increases the discovery rate by 50. So even having one holding humanity helps tremendously with your item discovery rate. This effect is capped at 10 humanity. Another method for increasing your item discovery rate is by obtaining one of two items. The first is the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring, found in Sen's Fortress. The other is the Symbol of Avarice, which is a rare drop for Mimics. Both of these items will increase your discovery rate by 200 for a maximum of 410 with items, or 210 with just holding humanity. I'm farming early in this game, so I've not yet unlocked Sen's Fortress in this playthrough, and I have a maximum of 210. The path I take is straight down the hall. You're going to run past the slimes to get them to fall from the ceiling, while taking out the two torch zombies in here. After which, I'll come back down the hall and eliminate the slimes. They drop large titanite and green titanite shards. You can do this with your sword, although it is much faster to kill them with pyromancy like I'm doing here. One hit with a decently upgraded pyro club will do. The second spot is the rats located down the stairs to the right when leaving the bonfire area and straight ahead to a short hallway. This area has many rats and they're all in a somewhat narrow space so it's easy to kill many with fewer swings. There is one that attacks you from inside a box if you get close enough but you can take him out before he can have a chance to attack you if you're paying attention. The next spot in this room is a quick plunging attack, a few swings to take care of the last rats. There is a third and optional spot for farming. A few more slimes and large rats, but I tend not to do this one much. The large rats do drop humanity at the same rate as the smaller ones, but there are too few really to make up for the time getting down here, and I never have much luck with the three slimes that are in here near the merchant. Well that concludes this farming episode. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.